Mark here from Foz Camper Van Adventures. As promised, uh, we're going to give you a tour of the, the Ford Transit Custom Van today. Uh, the top fuel gauge, 18 inch alloys, uh, show you the outside and then a quick tour of inside. What we're looking at here is a 2018 model short wheel base Ford Transit Custom with the RS edition graphics on the side. It's uh, 18 inch alloys and we have had the outboard gas tank put on it as well and that's how you act it's it just from this gas store here pull that off and then you can see you access your gas there quite straightforward make sure that cap goes on uh, we've got the Fiamma F45S awning fitted on the outside and just above that is the Allsops pop top roof which we had fitted as well so coming round the outside uh, just your normal looking Ford it's the updated edition and we've got the Ford aggressive looking grill really do like that it's a great addition and probably have uh, some spotlights put in there as well on the, the front at some point uh, coming around the other side uh, we've got the the van side parts and what we've got in here is the, the water point for filling up your water and for your electric hookup at the the site, we've got a plug in here. We do like our uh, Foz Camper Van Adventures sign on the back. So it's fairly standard everywhere else. Decide not to get any windows put in here because it's jam packed with stuff. So I don't see the the point of the extra outlay. Into the front of the cab, uh, we've had all the seats recovered, it's pretty standard everywhere else. Uh, to match him with the rock and roll bed in the rear, and up here, we like to keep our books the camping journal and RV travel log. And this is a great book if you're ever coming up to Scotland, it's the Take the Slow Road Round Scotland, and it's got some great routes. Uh, tells you going to Sky etc. Lots of routes, things to do, places to go and you can get that on Amazon. I'll pop the link for that at the end of the video. So that's uh, the front cab into the rear. Just pop the lights on so we can see. As we've got a double gas hob, small sink with the outboard tank as I say works perfectly well that's on it's been off for a few days so it's a bit slippery so that's the water working perfectly and uh, it's quite a small sink but we preferred that to have uh, more worktop and we went for this beautiful wooden worktop that's been uh, coated a few times uh, and we just up keep that uh, throughout the year over here we have the window one window that opens and closes and that's handy for cooking Sure it's inside it's uh, it's very roomy now you can see the the rock and roll bed we've got here so this is the style we went for uh, it was, this was done separate to the build so all i would say to you on that is if you're getting your camper van done find out uh, by a company that is find out if they do the beds as well um, or if they get a specific bed to carry out their uh, outfitting of your van because this wasn't one the, the company had ever used before so uh, it's very comfy to sleep on although we do use the Duvalay mattresses on top so I'll give you a quick tour and show you what we've got so just behind you here we have the double gas burner as you can see there and just in here we've got the, the double socket that works off 240 volts Next to the cooker we have just your standard window that opens and closes and that's handy for letting out any moisture. Cutlery drawer and we also keep the carbon monoxide alarm in there and obviously we bring that out when we arrive at the site or wherever we're staying for that night. A wee addition we had done to this is we had a chopping board put into the drawer, sits in there and that gives you additional space for a uh, putting pots and pans on or if you want to do your chopping on it although 
and we like it so much we put a chopping board on the chopping board <laughs> so that is that and then underneath we have the fridge freezer it's got a small freezer compartment up here which is pretty cold um, got some milk and stuff in there and brown sauce for the sausages to fry up so that is the small fridge it's a Dometic one um, over here um, what we have is I'll just show you so over here we've got the use this as a seat it's a pretty good seat and all it was was it's a cover for the the toilet and I had this cover here I just velcroed it on I've got this velcroed on it I can use it as a seat and then between times it covers the three four five porta potty so it's just a normal pit for toilet or any similar one that sits in there nicely so i've got the double seat to the front of the van and uh, unfortunately i didn't have the double swivel in stock when we collected it so that'll be getting fitted this month and that'll give us more room in the sort of cab area and also access up there to the where the pop top is let's put that down on the cooker so coming round from the cooker, we've got the sink obviously with the folding tap as you've seen and we've got just your sink compartment, we've got some bits and bobs in there, just your normal storage under the sink. Uh, we've got two different types of Ridge Monkey cooking stuff, toilet roll, all your soaps and things in there. They are soft closing but I like to just... Uh, Ease them on, I'll be here all day. We've got our uh, Revasto heating system, quite easy to operate. And next to that we've got the the gas heating system. Just switch them off. Uh, under here we've got uh, down lighter lights here and up underneath. Kind of just gives you a wee bit of mood lighting. See, and that is that. We've got our electronics control box and along the top we've got a we ask for a shelf. Along the top we ask for a shelf to be built in and we store our cups and things in there. And just your sort of essentials. Along the top there we've got the rollout arm for the Fiamma awning and we've got these grey blinds here on all the windows on the sides and the back to the front of the van we're waiting on the thermal screen cover and uh, ordered it well before Christmas so it should be here uh, hopefully as I say in two weeks time and then we can get that cover on uh, prior to that we used some curtains while we're away at Moffat so that's me eventually got around to show you the photographs of the build of the van which was completed professionally by a company here in Scotland. You've seen a short video now of the rear of the van, the cooker and all the sort of accessories in the back. The only thing I couldn't show you was the storage area at the back of the doors and underneath the rock and roll bed. There's decent storage in there and there's also a shower which I'll show in another video clip in a couple of weeks time when we're away. The screen for the front windows uh, did arrive yesterday so we'll show you that also on the next video clip. Hope you like what you've seen so far uh, and if you have any questions please just put them into the YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram and Facebook and if you like what you've seen and what you potentially could see please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me because I get a kick out of seeing uh, some of your comments and also seeing extra subscribers so thanks a lot for watching and bearing with me it will get better i promise it's uh, all this edit stuff's quite difficult so we'll speak soon see you later goodbye